morning blessings from scotland another video just to keep going on the right direction may it be for some of you may it be for myself who knows the key i think is just keeping going let me read you some stuff and we'll get right into it you know I found this one very interesting there's a lot of people out there that are finding their way and changing some things and realizing some things let's just say the Nag Hammadi is definitely reaching the new generation in some ways and my best example is there's a few new websites out there I mean, probably a decade now that tap into and notice gematria now gematria for those that are not paying attention is how that there's an encrypted number within texts and some of these people are noticing it in the news articles that's pushed out by lamestream media and some of them are even going into the passages of the bible and they're able to see the same coding emplaced in similar texts so some might not be getting the penny others are and one of the things that's always jumped out to myself and I suppose there's a few others out there but is the number nine and how that we can cipher it from much of the texts and on that you can see it when they mention the 144 number there's a lot within there so let me tap into some scriptures for today to give you some thinking and then we'll finish up discussing about the unshakable generation which has come before and will come again so without further ado let me give you some words from the book so the length and the breadth and the height of it are equal and this is why I started with 144 and he measured the wall and thereof an 144 cubits and according to the measure of a man that is of the angel angel yeah. moving on and the building of the wall of it was of jasper and the city was of pure gold like unto glass and the foundations of the wall of the city were garnished with all manners of precious stone and first the foundation was jasper and the second was sapphire and the third a chalcedon and the fourth an emerald the fifth sardoxy and the sixth, Sardus, and the seventh, Chrysolite, or Chrysolite, and the eighth, Barley, and the ninth, Etazata, Topaz, and the tenth, Chrysophrasus, and the eleventh, a Jasonith, and the twelfth, an Emethyst, an Emethyst. Not good with these words, but hey. And the twelve gates were twelve perils. Every several gate was of one peril. And the streets of the city was of pure gold, as it were transparent glass. And I saw no temple therein. For the Lord Almighty and the Lamb are the temple of it of it and the city had no need for sun neither of the moon to shine in it for the glory of God be lightened it and the lamb is the light thereof what does that tell you and I give you some pauses in between I'm going to continue hopefully, hopefully you'll Keep listening. The good's always at the end. And this next part is why we're talking about the unshakable generation. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it. And the kings of the earth do bright their glory and honour into it. 
and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there. And they shall bring the glory and the honour of the nations into it, and there shall in no wise enter into as things that defile. Neither whosoever work abominations or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. And he showed me a pure river of water, of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb, in the midst of the streets of it, and on either side of the river was there a tree of life, which bare twelve fruits, a tree with twelve fruits, Three with twelve fruits, right? And yield her fruits every month, and yield leaves of the trees which are for healing of the nations. Healing of the nations. And we could continue a little, I think I might, just for pleasures, because if that one isn't good, then there's even more goodness. And there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord giveth them the light, and... They shall reign for ever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels and showed unto the servants these things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the saying of the prophets of the book. And I saw John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell to worship before the feet of the angel, which showed me these things. Then saith unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant. Whew. And of thy brethren, the prophet, and of them that keepeth the saying of this book, worship God. The unshakable generation, guys. The unshakable generation, which has come once before and will come again. What's their purpose? Are you one of the unshakables? Does fear tremble in you in some way? Do you have lusts after this world? So, let me delve. Hope you're still listening. Right, so the creation of the unshakable generation. They are fearless, uh, fearless in all things except the oneness and the one. Because they know a true fear of God because of this realm and what this realm has done to the virgin bride. Them that hold the truth and the foresight to see through all this delusion, illusion, whichever you want to apply in that label. Them that make matter tremble under their feet. Them that make this whole place change. Those that seek to bring the soul to its youth, making the soul young. Look up the scriptures, you'll find it. One of the good books, or well, there's a lot of good books out there. Most of the good books are hard to find, or they've been messed with. Take, for example, one of the Bibles, 
they've put many of the occult names in them, including the King James, they even added in three or four lines, so you would pray to the kings of this place. So anyway, anyway, keeping on, the unshakable from the desire of this place. Are you witnessing any friends that have fell away from the society? Is this society actually creating them? You know, all this chaos. You know, this, this realm, if God came here instantly, which is well within the power, the whole place would tremble. It would be like the greatest earthquake ever. Because most of the things that created this realm are the things that created it because they thought they were God. But they needed God's spirit. And now they fight to restore what they think they have. So one of the best books that could be read just now by some that are trying to tap into a greater consciousness with the one would be the Apocrypha of John the Book of Enoch all these Nagamadi pieces that have been pushed around they would be worth your attention at this point because all you're going to do is try and help those that are coming through the next generation and you and your soul experience should be focusing on Helping them, not giving anybody fear, fear that something can't be done, achieved. It's like all this illusion in this realm is to make subservient people, is to make people not challenge them. And this is why when you head down one direction, there becomes an obstacle because those that cherish this decaying world want it to continue to decay a lot longer and the longer it decays the longer it takes for the virgin the one to restore herself the one that all the pieces were taken from it's it's time that we help bring it all together and I think many of those hidden occult schools They've kept the texts and they've helped bring things forth through their own actions. And much of it is the war of the world. And, you know, some of you might be thinking it's turning into the Orson Orwell scenario. Which maybe it is. Who cares? It's all a game. The game to get back to. And of course, the key is all within each of us. Because when we come here, we've came from the one spirit, the one maker. But a lot of people still reject this. And that's why the one that will make the chaos foundation of this place shake isn't rushing here yet. I've seen some YouTube channels about people planning to be raptured and yet again they have been lost to more delusion in the illusion it's it's not about getting out of here one by one if one gets out of here then he has a lot of waiting to be done for this to manifest so the key is really sharing in each of us the true teachings, the wisdom that's being hidden from all of you. And it's not about getting down on your knees and praising one. It's about gathering all the pieces together in one. And when we have done so, however long the game wants to play, then everything I started this video with shall come to pass. So for now, you just need to keep going to Zion, walking up the river, 
getting the fruit and taking it back to your nation and hope that you save your nation. The key is all within you. So if there is an unshakable one, run off and get Scotland's fruits for me. And if there's unshakable ones in your nation, then let's help change this world. Because it's time the unshakable generation incarnate again, if you don't mind. And there is a lot of few. I mean, one of the things I've been... I started the video with this one. One of the things I've noticed on YouTube is the uh, 144 zero zero people. And they seem to think that it's going to be 144,000 do something. But I would push it the other way. <clears throat> and I would say the creator leaves his signature in everything. Even the beings that don't believe they were created. And of course, if you go back to the video I started the other week, which was tapping into the Abraxas, the beginning, the whatever, whatever label you need, for the one that is asleep out of it all, he's not asleep. He's well aware of it. He's just got some really great kindness to try and restore every piece back to the Virgin, the one that birthed the child without him. He's restoring it all for her and it's a beautiful thing it's up to you guys to continue to do and believe and receive and it will change fast and you know some of them speak of this war that they'll do and some of them want that I don't know if you notice there's a lot of warmongers kicking about they, they're the ones that are in the dark because some of them don't even believe there is a creator. And of course, if you go back through eternity, go back through it all, there was a hell of a lot of them. They seem to think they fell out of Annie and they're not. <laughs> God wants to save them too. There won't be a peace missed. When he saves them all. Guys, God bless you. I'm going to do a live stream soon. Allow some questions to come in. See what you guys are feeling, thinking. Not that I'm worried just now, but live stream coming very soon. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Blessings from Scotland to you and all that's dear to you.